Hi, I purchased a rear view camera system off of Amazon. It was, I think, about $40. Um, what arrived was two boxes. In this box here is the uh, actual camera itself. Um, it looks like there's a, a video and a, a power type uh, connector here. This looks like it tilts uh, a little bit one way or another. Um, and this will screw on to uh, uh, the back of the license plate here. Uh, also included in this box, it looks like it would, there's a, a, a transmitter uh, and a receiver. Um, so this says receiver on it. Uh, it is wireless. I didn't want to deal with the cables um, uh, all the way from the license plate up to the front console. Uh, and there's a couple of wiring um, for uh, hook DC power up to the, uh, 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 the camera here. And also another one, I believe, to hook up the, uh, the monitor. Um, in a separate box, the, the monitor was shipped. And uh, looks like it's probably just an off-the-shelf type monitor. has, again, uh, a power connection, uh, video connection. And it looks like sound, which isn't actually needed for uh, uh, this application here. And this is the monitor opened up. It's in a nice, uh, nice convenient mount there, um, and hides hides nicely. So um, that'll sit on the, uh, uh, the front console dashboard. So all these rear view cameras say you should hook up the power up to the uh, reverse lights, and uh, why they say that is so the camera will only be working and transmitting video to the monitor um, when you're in reverse because your reverse lights only turn on when you're in reverse so I'm trying to put this on a minivan um, and uh, the issue is is that the reverse lights are located here on the main part of the car here um, and then the license plate is on the tailgate hatchback that lifts up so it's not that convenient to get the wiring all the way uh, up through here um, up to the top and then down to where the camera will be so uh, just to show you inside here um, i did remove the panels here um, which uh, not difficult but kind of pain to peel these off so the wiring actually for the um, brake lights and the reverse lights are snake into this hole here. And so it's not uh, not easy to get to. I mean, actually you could get to the wire somewhere in here, but you gotta figure out the colors. Um, and then you gotta go uh, up through here. Um, underneath the roof panel uh, and then there's this uh, little uh, uh, rubber uh, tube here that connects from the main body up to the tailgate. And then uh, go all the way through here. This back panel here wasn't uh, very easy to remove and actually I never fully got it removed. Uh, there's uh, this here, this handle here. Uh, is still connecting it to the body um, so uh, looks like I can manage without it but the um, in here is where the license plate will uh, uh, is on the other side of this piece so I got to get it to the wires here so so what I've done so far is I've bought some some wire from Home Depot, bought blue, just a different color, um, and wound it through. I actually um, 
disconnected this part here of this rubber tube. Uh, if you use a, a pry tool and go around the section, you can loosen this up. That way, I was able to push it down, and there was only a little part I had to snake the uh, wire through. Um, and I used a hanger, tape the wire to a hanger, and uh, fished it through. Um, took a little while to do without punching a hole in the uh, rubber tube. So, um, and also, what instead of hooking up the reverse lights, I plan on hooking it up to the uh, the normal cigarette lighter, uh, which should have DC power on it uh, when the car is on. So, so in reality, the camera should work all the time when the car is on um, versus hooking it up to the reverse lights. I'm testing out the wiring now. So um, I connected the new blue wire here um, to the transmitter, a wireless transmitter here which sends power also um, through the red connector to to the camera and needed to hook it up to a ground um, so actually uh, cut the ground to the license plate lights here and coupled the three wires together here to provide the ground. Um, could have probably ran a separate uh, ground wire to somewhere on the body um, but I knew that was a good ground already so I just connected it to that and then um, as far as the monitor, um, I'm just testing it out now. I did buy on Amazon also this uh, cigarette lighter uh, adapter that, that goes to these uh, uh, wiring harness here and connected uh, just temporarily the, um, the positive and negative uh, to the monitor and also to the receiver, which has separate uh, uh, power connections here. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's working. It's transmitting video to this. Um, I wasn't expected it. The car is off. The minivan's off. So I was not expecting it to be transmitting video when the car was off. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be an issue with potentially draining the battery. So I expected that uh, only when the car was on that it would uh, be transmitting. So. These are the license plate lights, which uh, only turn on when you turn on your headlights. Um, so not a good good thing to connect up to if you want the video to work in reverse. Um, so I'm removing these. Um, you have this uh, uh, fastener here uh, that has a screw head, Phillips head screw head. Uh, you can turn it all you want. It's not going to come out. So. Uh, but what you do is, you, uh, I at least turned it and I used a pry tool and was able to um, pull it out. Um, the screw actually, I think, expands the fastener inside there so it can't come out. So, But uh, uh, I was able to get it out. I pulled the um, license plate light out here um, and then I used a little hacksaw and cut a notch into it so I could uh, get the wire through this hole so I don't have to drill any new holes into the body. I put the fastener back in for the uh, light bulb here and you can see the uh, cable going through that notch. So the transmitter when it's hooked up to this constant DC power uh, that's on even when the car is off uh, it seems like it is the transmitter uh, is heating up there so I am going to try to hook it up to the reverse lights uh, so I unscrewed um, the tail light section here um, and looking at it here and the reverse lights are at the bottom it looks like it's black is the ground most likely and white is the uh, the positive so at least I know the colors here that I can try to find on the inside got everything pretty much put back together here, the panels and everything back. Um, so this is 
what the camera looks like um, on the back of the car here. I do have it in reverse with the emergency parking brake on so it doesn't uh, uh, go backwards. And so um, I have the monitor uh, up here. And currently I just have it plugged into uh, one of the cigarette uh, outlets here. Will be working to get the wiring to put behind the uh, audio system here, uh, so it's hidden. So.